But guys, we watched House of Dragon episode one and two. Yeah. Yeah, man. The other medieval, this, the big medieval show that's coming out right now. Not that other one based on that other <laughs> book series, but that other guy that's old as fuck. J.R.R. Tolkien. This is George R. Martin. Yes. A lot of RRs. Yeah. Kind of sus, you know what I mean? Like, what's up with that? That's kind of one letter off of S. Hey, dude, there. Uh, <laughs> we don't really mess with the double S's around here. I don't know if you guys are familiar. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, we do. That's kind of sus, bro. What's up with y'all? <laughs> but, okay, let's disclose our familiarity with the brand of Game of Thrones. Uh, I haven't seen a single episode of Game of Thrones. However, I'm very in tune with the plot line of it. As I used to listen to the Rooster Teeth podcast as a child when they were watching it. And they discussed the entirety of the show. So I'm familiar with the major plot beats of that series. But not like the little intricate details. Okay. Fair. That's and also Obviously, fair. Tristan and I have both seen this. Or seen Game of Thrones in its entirety. So Yes, and I just finished earlier this year. So... Still I'm, fresh. I'm fairly up to date. You guys watched those both post-release. We We weren't... We weren't watching it on HBO. I don't think any of us had HBO at the time. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. No, no, no. That's kind of mad expensive to get HBO channel, dog. That's like twelve ninety nine. Nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of nuts just for a TV channel when I could get the twelve, the twelve fifty, and I can get the whole service. You know what I'm saying? Until <laughs> Discovery yeah, yeah. eats it alive, of course. But you know, that's a whole other state of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> But House of Dragon, so this is my first exposure to watching a full hour and some change episode of this shit. Um, <laughs> so can we talk? Let's start off with this. So you know that guy Matt Smith, right? Like he was in Doctor Matt. Who or whatever. He plays Daemon. Okay, okay. I, I'm not familiar with him, but now I am. You know, you know Doctor Who though. Like you heard of it? Yes, I, yes, I, I have heard of it. Yes. Yeah, David Tennant, best Doctor, even though I ain't seen that shit. Uh. <laughs> He got a real fucked up face. Damn. I don't disagree with you. That's it's a, real distracting. It's kind of, that's, that's kind of fucked <laughs> I thought, up. I thought they were trying to make him an elf. He looked like an orc. Like, <laughs> his face is a little tough. Damn. Now, mind you, I say this, but I don't necessarily think he's unattractive. But I just think he's distracting me <laughs> with his face. <laughs> Jesus. Every time I look at him, it's like, that's a fucking heel right there. <laughs> like you can't look at this guy and be like, "That's a baby face." It's not possible. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just, it's just not. And so then we just get, you know, you know, we just get some shit with Daemon and his little family and their Targaryens. And I got kind of scared because, like, there's a little sus stuff going on, and you know, the Targaryens got that Winces shit going on. And, yeah, mm-hmm. and he, that's true. He told her to turn around and put a. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, uh, don't ask for names, please don't. It's been two no, episodes, man. There was not enough time. I'd turn on subtitles just to understand like everything because they're talking <laughs> so like low level, unaudible, and then like they're saying these complicated ass names like "What is up, Vice Lean Man?" and "What's up, <laughs> Cold Dan?" Like I'm like, who are you? <laughs> it's too complicated. Just call people Reggie. The <laughs> <laughs> facts, bro. But okay, now that the Game of Thrones people have left because they got angry at me, um, shout out to the mom telling the daughter that her place is just getting impregnated. <laughs> Bro, that was nuts. Come on, man. What's up with this, man? What's up with just, you know, it's part of the times, but that was kind of crazy. That wasn't unnecessary. So, like, let me ask you some more questions because this is stuff I don't know about Game of Thrones. Was it a big deal that. Cersei and Daenerys were trying to get the Iron Throne. Yes, because uh, like yeah, that was the biggest thing. Because in this one, they're saying that like no woman has held the throne. Well, had a, between the, this and that, had a woman held the Iron Throne or no? I I don't know the lore. Uh, if I'm so, gonna be honest, spoiler, uh, for probably this whole series, Daenerys was the first woman to hold the Iron Throne, or technically Cersei was the first woman to hold the Iron Throne. Okay, cool. So I just didn't hear that when I was getting the recap from the pod. So that's interesting. Yeah. So that means something happens. Spoil. I mean, that's what the you know, it's a fucking prequel. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say, dude. Like the whole point of this is how their family fall fell apart and how they kill each other and how they all die and how Daenerys is the last one 
and her brother. Yep. Yep. What if they're directly connected to the Daemon fucking bloodline? Dun, dun, dun. They probably are, dude. <laughs> you know, shout out to the kid who is negative years old, but they think that the father thinks he's going to solve every world problem ever. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't that a fact. <laughs> I know my son's going to fix this for us. He is negative years old. He's not even here yet. <laughs> nope. And, well, he wasn't there for long either. Oh. Yes. Tragic. Yeah, man. Tough. So shout out Damon with his, you know, his face. <laughs> he attacked people and just said, like, I'm pretty sure he was just making up crimes for people and then chopping them up. Because he was yeah. like, that's a raper. And they just cut off dude's dick. And that's when I was <laughs> like, yeah, I'm watching Game of Thrones right now. Like, <laughs> that was kind of fucking unnecessary. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, that was an interesting intro for a character, even in this universe. Um just to show how harsh he is but i was like okay uh that that gets the job done and then he started clapping cheeks right after that ah uh, yeah yeah Pat, he was, Pat he was... game of thrones sex scene like you know and this they yeah, just let oh, you yeah. know that hey man you are in fact watching game of thrones just want to make sure thankfully that was the only one in the first two episodes no it wasn't i don't think so it was not because there was, was the a whorehouse later. The whorehouse, yeah, yeah. Where there was just tons of people having sex. Oh no, you you right, you right, you right. He bought that place out. You right, my bad. If uh, if you didn't know you're watching Game of Thrones again, um, they use the Game of Thrones intro. They re again. They reuse that shit. They're like, bro, and honestly, bro, <laughs> ain't no way we making a new one. <laughs> I ain't got no issues with that. Shockingly. Um, because that's one of the hardest intro songs ever. Honestly, it but... is. I'm not mad about it either. But, like, I wish there was some, you know, originality, you know, like, maybe switch it up a little bit, but I can't say I'm mad about hearing that song again. This is literally just them, like, all right, boys, we gotta get the franchise back and milk this bad boy, so they bring out House of Dragon. You gotta get people back after that shitty ending to season, what, eight? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That was horrible. Um. So, this was, <clears throat> there was a terrible fight scene at the pit. Oh my goodness, that was. They we gotta so stop bad. using shaky cam and motion blur and calling it a fight scene. I understand that Matt yep. Smith does not do his own fight scenes, right? Or the other guy probably. But dear goodness, that shit was ugly and actively hurt my eyes. Sword stop. swing, oh, it was cut. Bad. Sword swing, cut. Kick, cut. I've been Every too time, spoiled bro. by Daredevil and Punisher and these amazing television shows that have way less budget than this. And produce way better action scenes than this. Dude, even fucking, uh, what's the movie? Nobody had better action scenes than this. Oh, that movie had great action scenes, though. And it's like, come I on know, now. You saying. guys got the budget. You guys can't, you guys don't have to wimp out like that. Were the scenes this bad in Game of Thrones? No. Uh, I don't think so, no. All right, so then they just kind of half-assed that shit. No, they yeah. did. They did. It's 100% they did. Yes. So the baby that was supposed to save the world does turn out to be a boy. However, they must perform a cesarean section to get the child out. And they fucking murder the mother. Because we need this boy. Only was that was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy, dude. Only for the baby to fucking die. Yeah. Yep. So over to lost them both. Great job, Vaseline King. Back to Vaseline. Back. <laughs> Yo. Vaseline dream, baby. And huh? then the I forgot how the episode ends, but it ends with da na 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 da na in the next episode. Uh Damon got banished or something. He fucking cause he's a bitch. He was talking shit yeah. about his dead brother's <laughs> son. And then Crab <laughs> Feeder. Oh, dude, Yo. not crab feeder. <laughs> the they're, crab feeder. They're building up to this dude to be a shark. Yep. He, I look, he, he look like some sort of creature. Yeah, he looks like the crab feeder. Duh. It looks like they're going <laughs> to build towards a three-way triple threat match between the, the you know, regular house Targaryen, Daemon's yeah. house Targaryen, and, and the crab, crab feeder. <clears throat> yes. Yep, yep, pretty much. And they're going to have the Royal Rumble to see who wins the fucking title. Not the Royal I mean, Rumble. They had to throw in some kind of anti-human uh, 
like thing because they couldn't throw in white walkers because that wouldn't make sense so they're like well, what could we do oh crab people <laughs> dude <laughs> hell yeah looks like crab talks <laughs> like people <laughs> <laughs> crab people <laughs> uh Ray, R- Renara question mark busted in on Damon's crib kicked in the door waving the 4-4 Said, the fuck you gonna do about it? You gonna do shit? Give me that damn egg before I fuck you up with this dragon. He said, I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> Take the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Gave up the egg real quick. Did not have a child. Was just pulling a stunt for his brother like his brother said. He's pulling a stunt. All that shit. This dude's a bitch, yo. Can we just say that? Yeah. yeah, yeah we absolutely yeah, we can because it's true. Damon just be bitch mode like he got smoked by a regular bum ass night too like he didn't, yeah. he didn't get smoked True. by like some grand king he got smoked by some dude from across the street picked him up out the liquor store dude was half drunk said start whooping ass I thought for sure Damon was gonna take a fucking cheap shot at that dude too I thought, I thought, was, I thought he was gonna murk him right there just like yeah like, oh yeah trees man trees man fuck you just slits his throat same I I a hundred percent thought that was gonna happen when it didn't i was like oh all right especially well, i guess we're not going that way dornish i expected something like that to happen what did you say to me he's <laughs> dornish an an- he's an ancestor of hodor <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh no dornish <laughs> shout out to the pokemon that is hodor <laughs> Yo. uh yeah so then i skipped over this just because i didn't want to talk about it but we gotta talk about it they want oh, no. Viser- Vaseline Man to get a new wife. Oh, and yeah. And then the black bro- the one black brother in this show comes up. <laughs> he goes, yeah, man, I'll give you my daughter. And I had an inkling that I was like, hmm, it's not going to be great, is it? No. <laughs> I was assuming she's going to be like 15, 16. That's what I was thinking. I was hoping. It was still going to be terrible, but it was going to be a little bit more appropriate. <laughs> Instead, I see a fucking tiny child walk out, <laughs> and then they're talking about this is who you're marrying, and I said, wow, dude, that's fucking crazy, dog. That's medieval for you, I guess. And then the child said lines that just shook me to my core. <laughs> when the oh child said, you don't, I don't know why you're laughing. This is pretty fucking serious, bro. It's really bad. When the child said, yeah, my mother said I don't have to bed you till I'm 14, and I was like, oh, I thought she was like ten, to be honest with you. Like I thought, I thought she yeah. was eight, bro. That's crazy. And then they come out and say she's twelve. I'm like, this motherfucker at least forty. Like, what are you talking about right now? Like, come on now. I don't know how. I don't know what the ages be like in the universe because I never went on the wiki to look up ages and shit. But assuming that they don't go with the whole, you know, you die in your forties kind of thing that you know happens in the real medieval times. Let's say he's forty. That's fucking awful dude if he was like 20 that's fucking awful dude no it's insane and the dude just offers his daughter to him because fuck it we gotta get these bloodlines connected whoop whoop however that's not the one he wants (laughs) the one he wants it's better guys this one's only his daughter's age (sighs) what the so fucking weird man Vaseline man. Vaseline, dude. And he, he like I could tell he was falling in love with her. I was getting a little scared with him. I'm like, hey, Vaseline brother, your wife just died, my man's. And you about to Ooh. marry her, and that's your daughter's best friend. That what Not the hell we do? Crazy here? shit. Couple things with that. One, his own hand, it, it's his daughter. And this man was plotting the whole time. He was like, I'm gonna get my daughter to marry the king. Uh but also, they're definitely not just best friends. What? What do you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean. They have been alluding to it and hinting at it the entire time, including when they both gave each other that look after he said it, and she, uh, Renera, uh, just left the the whole room. Whoa, dude. She was heartbroken. I think you're reading between the lines. Exactly. Because I don't, I, I don't, can't say don't it's the this. worst take. You don't. I can't see say it? it's the worst take. No, I usually I see the 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 LGBTQ fucking relationships, but I don't see it here. <laughs> I, it seems like they are obviously trying to. Well, actually, not even not not obviously, but it seems like they are hinting at it a lot, 
And then they're just like, oh, yeah, but she's going to marry the king. But they didn't have enough scenes together to, like, even suggest that. Yeah. Even I, I, I can see both ways, to be honest. In the last two episodes, they've only had, like, nine minutes worth of screen time together. And the whole time, they're, you know, either laid up on each other or holding each oh. other. Yes. I thought that's just what girls did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. That's nuts. The incel has outed himself. What? Bro, first off, I'm not the one projecting my fucking lesbian fantasies onto the TV show, you fucking Damn. bitch. Damn. Bro, what is going on crazy, here? Bro, you trying to attack me about? on my own fucking show? Get away from me. <laughs> Bro, I'll put you in the grave. I literally, like, you are saying some crazy things right now, dog. Look, man, I don't know what kind of shit you be doing in your own personal life, but you can't come on here and try to beat your meat to Game of Thrones, my guy. You're nuts. <laughs> I would not, first of all. Second of all, too many people already do that. Where's... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I don't oh, like shit. it. Don't get mad at me, because this show is explicitly <laughs> sexual, and then I say something stupid, and then they want to come attack me. Like, they didn't write this shit, okay, bro? Don't act like we didn't just see a 12-year-old talking about marrying some old-ass dude, okay? Fuck out of here. Fuck out my face. Get away from me. Oh, while we're talking about weird-ass stuff, uh, we gotta add another uh, person to the list of people that they can go fuck themselves. Oh, no. I'd like to add Tiffany Haddish to the list of people that can go fuck themselves with the recent news that she's a fucking predator. Uh, Oh, no. Fuck you. Uh I never thought you were funny anyways. You deserve prison time. Lock her up with Harvey Weinstein. Throw away the key. Thank you. Just got to use our platform for some good. You know what I mean? Uh, Fair. Absolutely. And then uh, Black Brother gets upset that he does not marry his 12-year-old daughter. Goes to Daemon and they form the Mega Power Alliance of Doom to take down Vaseline. (laughs) Vaseline, man. Vaseline King. It was like it was pretty. It was pretty like slow paced, you know, a little bit. They're setting up a lot right now, I guess. And I mean, it's I. I'm not really too into it yet, but I'm also a character guy, and the only character I feel any sort of attachment to right now is Renara or Renera or fucking Reese's Pieces cups. I don't fucking know. (laughs) Like, just people fucking stop. Like, come on, now it's been two episodes. You can't expect me to know the names. She's interesting just because she's like in the middle where she wants to support her uncle, but her father's also he wants to support him when they both keep just fucking with her. Like they just keep ruining her life and she's like, fuck. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's I, interesting. I, get what you're saying. I don't feel any sympathy towards Damon. No. Uh, the king is chill enough. He's not a bad guy, but I just don't feel any resonance with him. Nah, no, I agree with I, you there. I feel you. I mean, again, it's been two episodes. Like, I can't say there's anybody in Game of Thrones that I was in love with over two episodes, like as a character. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bad word choice on my part, obviously. Uh, but I mean, it, it takes time for character progression and for you to actually like a character for the most part. So we'll see. Number. Yeah, I- Ooh, number, number. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was only been two episodes. We can't give them numbers so. out. No, I do think it's mostly set up, but I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm in, I'm not invested, but like, I'm, I'm going to watch it, obviously. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll I just see, want them we'll to do more, na 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 na. Like, let's just do more of those. You'll get less twelve year olds, please. Thank you. Please, 